Oh, bonjour! Good morning, welcome back to another M Weekly. So, you might tell the quality is different. Yeah, don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing because it means you can see me more. Um, don't know where to look. Do I look in here or do I look in here? I don't know. I'm going to go with this. Um, I bought a new camera. I'm not going to lie, I felt like I was forced into it. I don't want to moan because I feel like you guys invest your time into watching what I do and I appreciate that so 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 much so I want to start this vlog just by explaining a little bit so I've had YouTube for years and I've always hated it I was too scared to do it and I just didn't like it and then in maybe January time February even March it really was like not that long ago I thought okay I'm not going to put any pressure on myself but I'm going to start doing weekly vlogs and um, I did them on my phone because for me it was the easiest way to do them it meant I actually filmed myself and I just didn't really ever expect anyone to watch them. And I'm so pleased and happy that you guys want to watch them, which is why I don't mind investing in equipment. But the thing that bugs me the most is that I already have like so much expensive equipment. Let me show you. Um, are they even in here? Or are they in my brother's room? I think they're in my brother's room. Wait. <laughs> so wait, I already have my Canon 5D, which is here. And um, that was like 2,000, 3,000 pounds maybe, wait. I have, I literally don't know where my brother's put, okay, okay, yeah, we also have two of these, which is a Sony A7, which is one of the best cameras on the market, so why do you not use those cameras, um, ooh, light, the reason I don't use those cameras is because they're too big, I use them and I have it in my bag, like, every single day to do imagery on, and when you're watching my vlogs and there's like a really high quality clip, so of food or of like, I don't know, I try to do a lot of high quality clips embedded within phone clips so that it like makes a quality high. And that is done on a good camera. So that's why. The issue we have, because I don't think the phone quality is bad at all, but when you compare it to the amazing quality of the other cameras, then yeah, it looks pretty crap. So I totally understand, but I've been getting a lot of comments for weeks now that are like, and buy a vlogging camera. And I don't know, I feel a bit weird about it because this new camera now cost me like £600 and I've already spent about £10,000 on other cameras. It is a lot of money, particularly when I'm saving for a house. But I agree, I need to invest. I don't want you guys to drop off and not watch my videos. I went through a phase last week of being like, you know what, I'm just going to quit YouTube and just not even bother doing it. Because sometimes it does just work on my phone. So I really, really, really am sorry if you guys sometimes think the quality isn't good. I'm going to try vlog on this new camera for absolutely everything I do now, but there might be a few clips on a phone. It's more just like, I don't want to get kicked out of a supermarket for vlogging. And yeah, sometimes I'm just in a really embarrassing position and you can't really get your camera out. Like in my gym, for example, if I just whack out my camera, they'll be like, you're not allowed to film in here. Sometimes it is easier on the phone. I've just ranted for so long, but I just wanted to like clear things up. I still don't know how to use this camera. I just wanted to clear things up by taking your feedback on board. I really, really appreciate it. No one was being nasty. Everyone was being so lovely. It's amazing that you watch my vlogs and that you want to continue watching them and you're like, um, just up the quality. But I think that's where it hurts me because I'm like, fuck! My quality is really good of like some shots, like 80% of the shots is just the talking ones that were on my phone and yeah it's just me being a bit crap and embarrassed and nervous and for me it was the only way I'd actually vlog if I did it on my phone because then I'm not as scared so I was kind of like would you prefer me just not to do it at all but then I realised I just been stupid. Um, anyway, we're here, I've got this camera, I'll leave a link below so you guys can check it out if you want a vlogging camera, so far so good, although I really keep looking in the wrong place, I'm sorry, I need to remember to look here, um, so welcome to M Weekly, sorry for starting this with a huge thing, I just really, really, really wanted to explain, apologise and also say thank you to you guys, so if you're new here, welcome, hello -ha. Um, the next few weeks are really exciting. I have a lot of trips planned, inclu including the Caribbean, Greece, um, Maldives. So this week I've been doing some stuff in Leeds and then I'm going to London. I've got lots of exciting stuff on, so I thought you could join me. So I just got back from the gym. I picked the camera up on the way back from the gym, which is why um, you're about to see some shots that I filmed this morning on my phone. I really want to show you some parcels that arrived. A lot of people have asked for a PO box unboxing PO box haul unboxing um but I thought I'd just record and talk to you guys about some items that just arrived so I recorded that on my phone this morning um I went to a hot yoga class which was really good I went with my best friend and then we had a pamper we went to David Lloyd gym it was so good so I'm gonna quickly show you some parcels that have arrived first things first this came from the babes at Beaujois I've always loved Beaujois and look it came with 
meringues how cute i hope this is still in date oh january yeah they are um and then i assume this is their new so here we have some let's it's from bourgeois rouge velvet look how good they look the color looks so nice this one is beautiful oh my lord these are the new jo malone english oak so you've got English oak and hazelnut, and you've got English oak and red currant. Let me show you the packaging. So, this is the packaging. And you can kind of get the gist of it here. And it's a new collection from Jo Malone. And it's just divine. I cannot choose a favourite. They both smell so amazing. And they're going to go in my Jo Malone collection. I need a bigger shelf. So these are their like intense ones. This is my date night all night. I absolutely love Tuba, Rose, Angelica. This is bath oil. These are just, I absolutely love every single one of them. The only one I don't have, this one has been used so much. The only one I don't have that I really, really, really want is Earl Grey for my collection. These two are my newbies. This is a new current fave, which just smells divine. And this one is Star Magnolia, so yeah, I love Jo a lot. I got this amazing bag, and I've always wanted to use Mane and Tail, I've actually never used it. Oh, Mane and Tail and Body. This is shampoo um, for shiny, manageable hair. I've always wanted to use it because it's meant to be really good for hair growth. I've actually seen a lot of people saying it's good. Um, this one isn't for body. It's available in Saints Beast now, so they kindly sent me, like, wait, a cute little top with some horses on and I even got my own wait for it dun, dun, dun. shopping list how cute is this this came from my wonderful James Reed as most of you know I went to Barcelona with James and he is just the biggest babe so this is him I've been using his products a lot 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 for a long 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 time and the other day my mum actually said it's the best my tan's ever looked and it was James Reed um, so James Reed Tan is created by the world's leading tanning expert and I just want to show you this it was just like a little present because I went to Barcelona with them um, and I just wanted to read this to you because I only ever promote brands that I genuinely love and this says my brand was built on, completely, on a completely unique concept combining the benefits of luxury skincare with a natural golden tan to suit all skin tones. It's always been my, my mission to change your world's perception of tanning. Orange, sticky, drying, hard to apply, these are all the comments of the past. My products are effortless to apply and all about making your skin not only look amazing but feel amazing too. And he's just awesome, like I've never actually read this from James but it just sums up his tan way better than I can it's completely undetectable because they use tan tone technology um, and then also one thing I love about it is it is really natural too I don't want to put like na naughty horrible stuff on my skin that's going to sink into my veins but it came with a top up of my absolute fave this is a tan mist body uh, this is the tan it's in sleep serum this is the glow mask body i use this like all the time oh and this is wash on wash off i've not used that one before and then um, bless them they sent me a little present which i'll try on later memory so yeah biggest babe ever and that's why i always link james reed as my favorite tan in the bottom of every video i always like link all of my favorite daily beauty products and you'll always find james reed down there Ooh, so this is Lock Your Look by Lip Coat. I've used this one before, which is the original lipstick sealer and the secret of lasting lipstick. Absolutely amazing. Everyone swears by it. I've never used the brown one before. Waterproof brow gel. This is from Eborium. Sorry, the light just totally blocked that. This is from Eborium. Spray to mask. What is this? Interesting. So it's a revitalizing face mask. I mean, this made my life because we all know the struggle is real. Only special people do I shave my legs for. Everyone has been talking about this. The micro delivery detoxifying oxygen peel. And it's a detox and reox skin with activated charcoal. I love a charcoal mask. So I thought these are lipsticks, but they're actually caviar eye sticks by Laura Mercier. I always use Laura Mercier bath stuff, but I kind of forget about the beauty products and they are awesome. So this month's glossy box came. It's a beauty subscription box for those that don't know. And can we talk about the fact that it includes two of my favorite products? Taylor's 32, you get a full size one. 
This is the best toothpaste ever. I'm sure you can pick up at Waitrose. I've been using it for a while and I love, love, love it. It's natural. And Kinder Bueno. I may have dabbled into some of it. I'll soak it for half a mat. Ooh, new Glam Glow. I love this. It's called Volcasmic. So Beauty Blender have now done a ridiculously Instagramable sponge. I'm sure that's not the only reason for doing it. <laughs> um, this is what I really wanted to talk to you about. This looks so, so, so good. I'm really bad at cleaning my brushes. This is a cleansing mitt for a fast and deep clean. I have to talk about how amazing this Marc Jacobs collection is. Velvet Crew. It comes with my favourite volumising mascara and a gel eyeliner. I absolutely love a Molten Brown delivery. I've loved Molten Brown for a very, very long time. And this range is the most beautiful range ever. I got a new hair colour by the way as well. I feel like I'm just having a catch up today. Um, I got it done by Louise at Sassoon and it's just a little bit more silvery. I've been using a new L'Oreal silver shampoo which I really really rate. So it's a bit more ashy. Leave a comment and let me know if you like it. Right so Matt's downstairs. We're gonna have some sushi. It's gonna be my post gym sushi and then I also got my favourite chocolate bar ever as well. I'm testing this camera in different lights to see how it is. The quality is so much better, isn't it? I just want to show you as well, I um, put some new Molten Browns in my bathroom and it literally looks so pretty. Oh yeah, look how nice it looks. I feel like you guys will appreciate how good this looks in my bathroom. So these are Molten Brown and then this is a huge Molten Brown candle which we've had for ages but I don't think I've ever talked about it. We're just in my cinema room. The football's really loud. How's the sushi? It's good. Do you like the new camera? It's nice, yeah. So now I'm going to be throwing this in Matt's face instead of my phone. <laughs> and so this is a chocolate. Matt was like, please bring me some. So I got some on bar. It's refined sugar free. They now sell it in Waitrose, which is really, really good. And Waitrose have cash back at the moment on my card, so that's good. So my workout this morning wasn't like the most intense workout. It was yoga and it was more like mind clearing. And then I did some swimming, so we might gym later as well. So we'll see. But I did wash my hair, so I don't know. So let's see what she's doing. Morning, guys, from my new camera. Um, so we didn't go back to the gym last night. Yeah, Matt didn't gym, but I gymmed yesterday, so at least I did a bit of something. We're going to hopefully gym today. We're just about to head to London. I need to pack. Look at the stay of my room. Oh, my goodness. So this morning, I headed to the doctor's. I've been so scared about something for literally so long. Like, it first happened in December, then it happened in Vegas, then it happened two weeks ago, and then the last week. Um, and I finally put up some courage to go to the doctors, and it's all good, but don't be scared to go to the doctors because it will put your mind at rest, and I finally feel like I can get on with my life now. Literally felt like my life was over. <laughs> so I'm going to quickly pack, organise my room, and then we're heading to London. So, tidy bedroom, tidy mind. Okay, I know it's not fully tidy yet, but we are getting there. I also just tanned using James Reed, so later on I'm going to be super tanned. Still don't know where to look with this camera. Be nice. I feel like everyone on my YouTube likes to comment about everything and anything. Like, the other day someone commented because my stick-on bra was out on a video. I deliberately talked about the fact that my stick-on bra was out so that no one would comment. I had comments that were like, oh yeah, I've not watched any more of the video because your stick-on bra was out too much. And it's like, guys, get life into perspective. My stick-on bra is out, which isn't offensive in the slightest. It was out for like two minutes, maybe five max. And so what? People were like, so I didn't watch the rest of the video. And it's like, well, more for you because the rest of the video, I was trying on clothes. You've got to laugh. People will find anything to be offended or annoyed about. I mean, the majority of people on YouTube are amazing and leave the nicest comments. But some people, I'm just like, oh. it's like people who comment and say my bedroom is really messy and actually write on forums that I have a messy bedroom. I'm literally never in my bedroom and I try to keep on top of it, but it's difficult. But also, people are dying of cancer and there's hurricanes and really, really, really bad shit going on in the world right now so who cares anyway god this is ranty isn't it bedroom's feeling tidier i'm just quickly trying some stuff on see what to wear to london oh this one i'll leave a link below to my video with matt where i wear all of this 
I feel so edgy in this top, but I got it because it says honey on it. Hello! Oh my gosh, I'm not used to this camera. I keep looking in the wrong bit. I look really pale on this camera. I don't know if I need to change the settings, but bonjour. My hair is looking super grey. We just got to London. We just checked into the Nerd. I'm going to give you a room tour. So if you guys saw my Soho House vlog, you'll know that I stayed at Soho Farmhouse recently. It's a private members club. Soho House have like loads of properties. I stayed at theirs in Barcelona as well. This is their one in Bank. It's amazing. Literally amazing. I tried to rebook it for tomorrow night as well, but it was like... 500 to 800 pounds, so I was like, yeah, I can't do that, so we've got an Airbnb tomorrow instead. But we are here with Jean-Paul Gaultier, I'm doing a really exciting campaign with them. Totally just caught my face out of that. So yeah, I want to quickly show you the room. Matt's just looking at room service to order. Of course, aren't you, Matt? I am. <laughs> Order. What are you going to order? I have no idea. It looks amazing though. It's not actually that expensive. And it's not? It's just a dream. Get some. Order, order the Oh, uh -huh. order some. And we, we need to go to the gym as well, so this is evidence of us already snacking. A room service came. What's this one? In your favourite mac and cheese. Mm. So, to be fair, it's like probably the best room service I've ever seen. And then open up your pizza. I'm not looking at the pizza yet, but mm -hmm. literally next level. Didn't go to the gym, really need to go to the gym, but now it's dinner time. So I'm just going to quickly get ready. I have my dinner with Jean Paul Cartier tonight. ready oh my gosh my hair gets such a purple tinge to it in this light can you see that look purple oh my god and um, so i'm wearing this dress and um, i'll link something similar below because it's super super old there's a stick on bra that everyone keeps going on about and um, yeah so i'm going out for dinner now i'm actually just going upstairs leaving matt matt's going to go to the gym so we have a surprise performance i'm so excited to see what this is
Hello, good evening. Oh, so afternoon tea at the Ritz was absolutely amazing. Everything I've ever dreamed of, such a beautiful venue and such lovely food. So I caught up with the guys at Roger and Galley, can never pronounce it, and then I also caught up with Jess Hamilton, Elle next door, who I went to Florida with and we get on really well, and then Sabrina, a little obsessed, and if you guys know them, but they are just lovely, lovely, lovely girls. Got such a cute little present with an amazing fragrance in it, I'll quickly show you. Again, I'm so sorry on this vlog I'm looking in the wrong place because I don't actually know where to look. I can't get used to the camera, so bear with me, guys. I bought a new vlogging camera for you guys. So I got this fragrance, which is Neroli, and it just smells so good. And the reason that they took us for afternoon tea was because they're launching their new 500 milliliter bottle. You saw it on my vlog. It was so big and so amazing. So that was just such a special afternoon. It was just lovely. I've always wanted to go to the Ritz, and it's a brand that I've loved for ages. They do skin vinegar, which sounds awful, but it's like a water that's full of like really good stuff, and I've used it for so long. Maybe like a year and a half now. God, I'm out of breath. So we just checked into an Airbnb because the hotel we were in last night was like £800 for tonight. So we checked into an Airbnb down the road. I need the second ever Airbnb I've ever stayed in, but it's, it's okay. It's fine. And then we are just heading to Westfield Stratford, Westfield Stratford now to go for some dinner with Carl. I'll introduce you to Carl, but if you watch my Florida vlog, she'll have met him. Matt's going to meet Carl. I've met him once already. Oh, yeah. Um, so yeah, I don't really have any room for food, so I'm just going to have nibbles. Yeah, I got changed as well. So yeah, we're going to go now. Let's do that. Let's book an Uber. Look. Hey, Carl. Show us that cheeky grin. But you go to the celebrity dentist. Oh, I've not been to him for ages. Hey. Hey. <laughs> done a love show in Notting Hill worth the hour and 20 minutes taxi drive from um, Shoreditch. Look how fancy it is. So I went to Bobby. He is amazing. Typically it's raining now and I forgot my umbrella so I'm going to go pick Matt up. He's been doing some work in a coffee shop and then I think we're going to grab some lunch. Just having a nice leisurely day. Please rain go away. <laughs> So we went for lunch with Matt's brother. We went to Pizza Pilgrims. He's moved to London basically, so we were catching up with him. Um, we now just checked into our room. So I'm going for dinner with Juicy Couture tonight. Super, super excited. And they've kindly got us the most wonderful room, so I'm gonna quickly show you. So I am ready for dinner. I'm wearing this jumpsuit. I am really rushed and my taxi's coming to a different hotel so I need to like run over there now. <laughs> and then I'm going for dinner with Juicy Couture. Hey. Oh. Yeah. 
I've been trying to take my eyes off you. Oh, girl, it ain't easy. Just let go of that body. Why well, you gotta keep flirting like you do? I waited so patiently, but you don't seem sorry. I still a little see you trying to make some plans. Now come on, baby, later in the PM. Hope that you would understand. I think that if you get to know me, you see I'm way more than nice. I wanna hold you, let me feel you. I got this picture in my closet. Morning! So last night was really really good of Juicy Couture and today is the day it launches Viva La Juicy Glass um, and it is absolutely beautiful. I'm gonna try it when I get out and show you. I um, did not plan this very well. And then we got this champagne that goes with it so the idea is that it's all ice themed. Yeah, I'm just super 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 excited. I've loved Juicy Couture for like a very 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 long time. Matt, aren't I a Juicy Couture lover? Unfortunately, yeah, she's got about 13 tracksuits. Don't in tell wardrobe. anyone. Um, so yeah, we're just having some breakfast and working. And then we have meetings today. So I'm covered in glitter. But yeah, thank you so much, Juicy, for literally the best night. They always host the loveliest events. And I always leave feeling so happy because everyone is just so lovely. I'm running ridiculously late. I've just been editing this vlog to get out there. And then a knock comes at the door and I get this. Oh my lord. Can you see? Focus! The most beautiful flowers ever from Clinique with the loveliest note. Um, basically Clinique had an event the other day and I don't know why but I didn't go. And I'm like everyone that I knew went and I would have obviously been there and I had no plans that day and I just was like oh my god why did I not go to that event like I, I was actually meant to go to the event apparently but I just didn't realize um and I was like oh my god I'm so sorry because I'm obviously Clinique's number one fan literally number one fan always have been my grandma is my mum is um so that is so 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 nice of them but yeah I really really need to rush and get ready but that is oh my god day made thank you Clinique <laughs> Today is outfit. Love these trousers so much. This is a top that everyone thought I was super uncomfortable in. Wasn't uncomfortable in it, guys. It's just not made for boobs. <laughs> but I was actually really happy and I actually really like the top. So here you go for the people who were commenting about it. <laughs> um, but yeah, this is my outfit. We're gonna go do some work now. guys sorry i forgot to vlog um the end of yesterday so we chilled at shoreditch house with two of my amazing friends who i met in canada they're not really allowed to film there so i didn't film but it was so nice to catch up with them and um, that's just behind me we're just heading back to my house now because i have a day of filming i'm doing lots and lots of work so i just wanted to end this here everything i mentioned will be linked below and again thank you so much for watching love you guys lots and lots bye